one of the founding fathers of the USA, Benjamin Franklin, profoundly said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. And whilst I'm pretty sure he did not say this with biology in his mind, we are going to hold him to his word and prepare ourselves by making sure we know what these keywords all mean. Gametes are reproductive cells or sex cells. So, female gametes are the over or egg cells and the male gametes are the sperm cells. DNA is tightly coiled around proteins and it is packaged into structures called chromosomes. They are found in the nucleus of cells. A gene is a unit of hereditary material. Each chromosome contains thousands of genes made up of DNA. The gene codes for a particular characteristic of the organisms such as eye color or blood group. An allele is an alternate name for a gene representing the different version of that gene. So whilst the chromosome of your mother and father both have genes for hair color, body height and lipoma formation, they may have different alleles. So your mom may have a red hair allele whereas your dad has a brown hair alleles. The phenotype is the outward appearance or characteristics of the organism depending upon genes. So, the phenotype for red hair gene is actually having red hair. The genotype is the set of genes in our DNA which are responsible for the phenotype. Alternative forms of a given gene are called alleles. When an individual has two of the same allele, so both coding for red hair, they are homozygous. Both genes are identical. Whereas, if one allele codes for red hair and the other one for brown hair, then they are heterozygous. Two different forms of the same gene are present. When two different alleles are present, so are heterozygous, one allele will be dominant. This allele will influence the phenotype. So brown hair is dominant over red hair, so the offspring is more likely to have brown hair. So in this example, the red hair allele is recessive. This means the gene is not expressed in a phenotype. Recessive genes are only expressed when the other gene is also in the recessive form. So it needs to be homozygous, both carrying the red hair allele. And finally, what do haploid and diploid mean? Haploid cells have one set of chromosomes and is labeled as N. Diploid cells have two sets of chromosomes, 2N. Most cells are diploid, so in humans we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, one from our mother and one from our father. All of our cells are diploid other than the gametes, so the egg and sperm which are haploid. When the sperm fertilizes the egg, the chromosomes pair up and become diploid. So they have to start at haploid so that there is room to pair. So hopefully you now know what these keywords mean. It is worth taking the time to really know and understand them before you start tricky topics like mitosis. I promise you it will make everything much easier. Benjamin Franklin doesn't lie.